Could an Airbus 321 XLR win the Indianapolis 500? You're joining me on board Aer Lingus' newest aircraft. Its registration is XLT, and uh, this weekend it will be flying to Indianapolis for our inaugural flight. Indianapolis is arguably most famous for the Indy 500 race. So we're wondering, what would win? The Airbus or the Indy car? Now, if it was a straight line 500 mile race, the Airbus would win it hands down. It, it's just much quicker. It can do more or less 500 miles an hour in a straight line and it would win. However, the Indy 500 isn't raced in a straight line. It's raced on a racetrack. So the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it's 2.5 miles in length. It's got two long straights, each about a kilometer long or 0.6 of a mile. And then it's got two, uh, four corners and two short chutes. Now, airplanes, they're not very good at taking corners, unless, like in my old days, you could fly military jets where you could bank them to nearly 90 degrees and pull around with more Gs than Tom Cruise could even handle. So we're going to have to level the playing field to allow the car and the airplane to compete on similar terms. So let's take the Indianapolis racetrack and turn it into a circle with a circumference of two and a half miles. Now, if you think back to your maths, or math as they say in America, that gives us a radius of just under 0.4 of a mile. So what's going to happen in our Airbus airplane? Well, it's going to have to bank in order to make the turn to stay within that circle. Now, you don't want to be banking at nearly 90 degrees because you're on our Airbus. You're getting wonderful service from our Aer Lingus cabin crew and you're sipping Chianti. So we're not going to be doing 90 degrees angle of bank. And in fact, this airplane is so sophisticated with its fly-by-wire system that it will limit the angle of bank to 67 degrees. So if we get our maths hats on and we say, with an airplane banking at 67 degrees, what's the maximum speed that it can do to stay within our racetrack. And it turns out that the maximum speed the aircraft can do is 236 knots, which is 236 nautical miles per hour. Now let's look at our Indy car. What's its maximum speed? Well, the interesting result is that the maximum speed that the Indy car has traveled at is 236 miles per hour. So who wins the race? Well, it turns out that a nautical mile is just a little bit more than a statute mile. It's about 15% bigger. So the Airbus wins, but just by a whisker. It was close.